Hey guys, uh, welcome to episode two. Yes, I'm still in the same clothes because uh, I'm filming a few of these videos uh, right now just because it's easier. Um, but uh, hopefully this uh, provides you with a lot of value. So I'm gonna go with another video. Here I'm gonna actually mention a name brand. I don't usually do that because I don't really wanna target different brands, but I do think it's important you know, to, to understand what you're getting into. So this one here is Fiber One. Fiber One is a brand where on one hand, what I like about them, uh, let me start off with that. What I like about Fiber One is that they're increasing awareness for fiber, which is amazing for health. Um, you know, fiber is, anybody who's going on a detox, uh, fiber is one of the most important things to consume on a detox because uh, consuming healthy amounts of fiber on a regular basis with a healthy amount of water, by the way, you need those two combined helps with proper bowel function and that helps with proper elimination and increased fiber consumption, especially from fruits and vegetables and whole grains um, is associated with disease risk pretty much across the board um, in terms of chronic disease anyway. Blood pressure, cholesterol, you name it actually. So fiber is a great thing. So I really like how they've, they've raised awareness for consuming fiber and that's a really good thing. And I still give them credit for that. Even on their website now, they have a lot of that. My biggest criticism for not just them, I'm not just throwing these guys under the bus, but also their competitors. They just happen to be the biggest, so I'm kind of using them as an example and also for constructive criticism so that maybe they could change as well. They could start monitoring consumer buying trends and then maybe start to adjust accordingly. I don't know. But either way, what, what, what this um, video is to show is how much uh, processed ingredients, salt, and sugar are in these bars, okay? The, one of the great things about fiber is that it helps to stabilize blood sugar levels and therefore cravings. What Fiber One and other companies like them have done is they sort of, it's very, it's very misleading because their products contain fiber, but they're also adding in tons of sugar. So it's almost like take our bars because it has fiber to help with cravings, but we're also cramming in tons of sugar into your products. So they're actually very, very unhealthy, um, these bars. So let, let, me, let me look at one example. This is the first one on their website that I collect, okay? The Fiber One Salted Caramel and Dark Chocolate Layered Chewy Bars. Sounds delicious. By the way, another thing is when you look at their website, um, you see all of these like snacks and ways to beat your craving with snacks and they're like the most sugared fill. It's like eating pop tarts for breakfast basically. Sugar, 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 sugar and more sugar and more salt. Uh, and then highly, highly processed refined oils which are also unhealthy. And that's actually, that's basically it. You can stop watching the video now and essentially that's what I'm gonna show. Just give me a thumbs up and subscribe and you're done. But here, I'm gonna read the ingredients right now uh, and I'm gonna put it up right now. So chicory root extract. It's not even chicory root. Chicory root is a source of fiber and it's a prebiotic and it's very healthy. This is a chicory root extract. So how are they getting an extract? What are they extracting out? They're probably using very harsh chemicals and heat to get one or two component of chicory root in there. It's not even the full chicory root and then they're marketing it as such, which is a big, big no-no. Very misleading Fiber One and other companies like yourself. Rice flour, yes. Then sugar. Wow, sugar, whole grain oats, I love that. Corn syrup, more sugar. Barley flakes, I like that. Vegetable glycerin, a highly processed chemical, you know, a highly processed kind of like oil. Um, Semi-sweet chocolate chunks, again, sugar. Chocolate liquor, yeah, cocoa butter, okay, blah, blah, blah. Natural flavor, okay, that's also, natural flavor means what? It's just a chemical, probably. MSG is a natural flavor, as I constantly point out, and I'm still gonna point out constantly. Palm kernel oil, fructose, more sugar. Palm kernel oil, by the way, is highly, highly processed. Non-fat dairy milk, sunflower oil, Dutch cocoa, um, soy lecithin, natural flavor, again, more chemicals. Sea salt, more salt. Uh, salt, canola oil, more salt. Uh, then barley malt extract, again, extract, so highly processed. Guar gum, you see all these additives. Okay, finally you get butter. That's pro Butter is probably the most real ingredient in this entire box, uh, actually. And then milk, milk protein concentrate, baking soda, sodium phosphate, carrageenan, which is another isolate, uh, oil, uh, rosemary, ascorbic acid. So they're adding in vitamin C. That's what ascorbic acid is and vitamin E. Uh, and the reason for that is because it's so void of nutrition that they're adding it back in. And if there was any vitamin C whatsoever, the heat involved destroyed it. So they add it back in and it's used as a preservative. So... Bottom line, tons of salt, tons of sugar. On their website, I was unable to find a full nutrition panel. What they actually do is they list um, seven grams of fiber, which is great, 
Seven grams of fiber is good. It's a great advertising marketing strategy. 28% of your daily value of fiber and 150 calories per serving, which, you know, isn't a ton, but it's also not a lot. And you're getting no nutritional value and you're shoving a lot of chemical sugar and salt into the body for 150 calories. Compare that to a, a medium sized banana, which is between 100 and 150 calories, which have tons of nutrients, fiber, minerals, is really good for you, you know. Right, um, and they don't list the sugar content. They don't actually list the real nutrition panel on their website that I could find at all. I even tried Google imaging it. I really tried looking for it and I couldn't find it. So if you can find it, sorry, I'm shaking the camera a little bit. Um, please show me, but you know, I just, I just, uh, I couldn't find it. So I'm willing to bet the sugar is through the roof. If you see sugar like that's like, you know, five or six grams, you know, that's reasonable. If you see like 26 grams, you know, anywhere from like 15 to 26 grams of sugar, that's a ton of sugar, okay? But you don't even have to look at that, just look at the ingredients. So I hope that helps. I hope this added value. Give me the thumbs up if it did. Uh, if you give a thumbs down, leave a comment as to why, please. Just let me know. Thumbs down means nothing. Um, I actually encourage you to give me a thumbs down if, if there is something wrong with it, or give me a thumbs up and still give me constructive criticism because that would really help me out a lot too. Be sure to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified for more videos like that and I look forward to sharing more.